In this first lesson for Financial Mathematics Grade 12, we are going to revise all the formulas that are already known to you, and we're going to have a look at how to calculate the value of n. In Grade 8 to 11 Financial Mathematics, you got to know five different formulas. Firstly, we have the formulas for simple and compound interest, and in both of them, the A value is for the final amount, the P value is the original or starting amount, I is the interest rate per period, and N is the number of periods. Next, we have the formulas for depreciation. Firstly, the straight line depreciation, and then the reducing balance depreciation. In both of these formulas, a is once again our final amount, or this time final value. P is our original or starting value. I is the depreciation rate per period. And N, the number of periods. And lastly, you learned the formula for the conversion between the effective and the nominal interest rate. With our grade 12 knowledge about logs, we can now calculate the number of periods, or the N value. Example 1. Anna deposits 10,000 Rand into a savings account. Interest is calculated at 12% per annum compounded monthly. The question is, how long will it take for her savings to grow to 15,000 Rand? In this question, we are working with compound interest, so we start off substituting into the compound interest formula. The final amount, A, is 15,000 and the original amount was 10,000 Rand. We know that the interest rate is 12%, and that is compounded monthly, and we need to determine the number of periods, the N value. And to do this, we will start off getting rid of the 10,000 Rand outside the bracket by dividing by 10,000 Rand on the left-hand side, and inside the bracket, we can simplify it to 1,1. Because n is in the exponent, it would have been ideal if we could get the base on both sides into the same value, but in this case, that is not possible. Any exponential equation can, however, be rewritten in log form, and that we do by taking the base value, which is 1,1, and keeping that as the base of the log, and this means n will then be equal to the log of 3 over 2 base 1 comma 1. This value can then be determined on your calculator and you will find that n is then equal to 40 comma 7489. This value will always have to be in the same period as the compounding period of the interest rate and that means that that will be 40,74 months. So our final answer here can be that after 41 months, her final value would have grown to 15,000 Rand. Or the question can maybe be specified to give the answer in years, and then we'll have to continue dividing by 12 and end with 3,4 years. Example 2. A company purchases a truck for 800,000 Rand. The value of the truck depreciates at 20% per annum on the reducing balance method. How long will it take for the truck's value to depreciate to 500,000 Rand? So we start off using the formula for the reducing balance method and substituting. So our final amount or our depreciated amount is 500,000 Rand and the original value of the truck was 800,000. The depreciation rate is 20% per annum, and we are asked how long it will take for this to happen. So once again, we're going to start off by taking the 500,000 Rand on the left and dividing it by the 800,000 Rand that we want to get rid of on the right. Inside the bracket, we can once again simplify to 0, 0,8, and that will be to the power of n. And then we can simplify and rewrite in log form. And when you now calculate n, you will see that n is equal to 2,1062. 
and because the depreciation rate is yearly, this will be in years. We can also continue to break this up into years and months by focusing on the decimal part. So here we know that it's two complete years and we can rewrite that decimal part in terms of months by taking the decimal and multiplying it by 12 because it's a fraction part of 12 months. And rounded, this will give us one month.